What's up guys and welcome once again to another video. I am your host Soy Ricardo and on this week's video we're going to be trying to do some cool slow-mo video. Now this is just like another uh, at home video idea that you can try and we're going to be using the DJI Osmo Pocket since my current camera, the one that I'm recording with right now does not do any sort of good slow-mo because the only slow motion on this camera it's 60 frames a second at 720p which is big thumbs down so we're gonna be trying my DJI Osmo Pocket it shoots 120 frames a second at 1080p which is kind of what we want for this type of video my DJI Osmo Pocket also shoots in 4k 60 frames a second but the reason why we are not using that even though it will have better quality because the slow motion it's not as slow as the 120 frames a second so with that said we're going to be just trying out all of our shots doing 1080p 120 frames a second with the dji osmo pocket we're going to be doing a coffee uh, into some milk with some ice trying to make those two colors mix and see what kind of slow motion stuff we can come up with and we're also going to do the typical beer pour and see what kind of cool stuff we can capture with the beer uh, pouring into the glass so with that said guys let's go ahead and jump into the shoot and see what kind of cool stuff we can come up with let's go All right, here we go. This is take one. This is the um, beer shot. All right, hold on, hold on a second. Uh, all right, I just put it on top of the, of the thing, but don't start pouring it yet, just so I can see. Okay. Okay, that looks pretty good. I feel like this is a lot harder than I anticipated. I'm gonna try it again. I guess keep on trying until we get some sort of a decent shot. Here too, all right. So now we're gonna try the the coffee and the milk and see if we can get that nice uh, coffee and milk mixture. Swirls. <clears throat> okay. It's not focused. gonna pour it in there in like normal speed okay. fast Again, I uh, didn't really like the first shots of the beer. The coffee one came out okay. I have to see it uh, once I load it into the computer. But as far as the beer one, I didn't really like it. So we're gonna go ahead and do a take two on this one and basically see how it comes out. I probably need more lights. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and start the second take. 
closer. Maybe that'll help. I mean, you're not gonna do it slow. You're just gonna go and try to make it. And if it's close here, it's it's okay. I mean, just don't do it like super fast. All right, so we did two shots. One was with the beer and the other one was with the coffee. Now, I must say that this is my first time trying this sort of, uh, of shoot. And the reason why is because uh, there's a YouTuber, his name is Daniel Sheffer, and you know, he does a lot of videos like this with behind the scenes on, you know, commercial like videos about food, uh, beverages, uh, cereal. He's done a lot of different uh, videos that I've seen on YouTube and I just wanted to try it out. I actually have never tried anything like this and uh, it's something fun. It's something very hard. I mean, I thought it was going to be a lot easier, but no, it's really, really hard to get that nice crisp shot. So um, I guess we're just going to see how these things turn out. All right, guys. So there you have it. You done seen some of the slow motion and the type of like videos and the type of footage we can come up with using our DJI Osmo Pocket with 120 frames a second. Now, um, there's a couple of shots in here that I kind of like. Uh, I mean, there's only one really good one. The other ones were not really good. This is a lot harder than I thought. Wow, this is hard. Now, I hope you guys learned something from this. I certainly did. And uh, I hope this video was entertaining. Like I did say, and I did mention earlier, there was only like one good shot, which is the one pouring the beer into the actual cup, not the beer glass, but the actual cup looking glass. And uh, that was probably like my favorite shot. On the one with the, uh, with the coffee and the milk, I wish I would have just left a white background or use a different angle. Uh, but you know, you we are learning as we go. So I am very thankful that it even came out as it came out, which I didn't even think it was gonna come out that good. So I am happy with the results. I did learn a lot. So I'm sure on the next time we try something like this, uh, it will be a lot better. So that's pretty much for this week's video, guys. Thank you again so much for showing up. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps out a lot. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Please hit the notification bell so you can get notified when I upload newer content. And I do have some great videos coming up. And with that said, with that said, I'll see you guys again next week. Peace.